Hello and welcome to Thought for May the 19th. Our readings are Joshua chapters 3 and 4, Isaiah chapter 9, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And our thought is, No compassion, every mouth speaks folly. Four times, three times being in today's reading of the ninth chapter of Isaiah, the prophet's message is, For all this his anger is not turned away, and his hand is stretched out still. Verses 12, 17, 21, and chapter 10, verse 4. It is a condemnation against those who speak in pride and arrogance in, of heart, as we read in verse 9, of all they will do in their own strength to recover from their disasters and restore the things that have gone wrong in Israel. They say they will rebuild the bricks that have fallen, but we will build with dressed stones. The sycamore have been cut down, but we will put cedars in their place. Verse 10. The nation refused to see that it was Yahweh who had caused these disasters, but their thoughts were on rebuilding and even making things better than they were previously. They did not see that God's anger was still there. His hand was stretched out for further punishment, because the people did not turn to him who struck them, nor inquire of Yahweh of armies, we read in verse 13. We noted the extreme result of their attitude. Yahweh will have no compassion, even on their fatherless and widows, for everyone is godless and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh folly. A footnote to that word is disgraceful things. Verse 17. Our Lord is not endlessly compassionate. Israel had taken his blessings for granted. Their hearts were filled with pride and arrogance. And there is a solemn lesson in this today. Some years ago, near where we lived, the people experienced dreadful forest fires covering large areas with a great loss of property. Nearly 200 died. And in the summers since, there have been great concern in case of extra hot weather that it could cause a repeat. We have not seen any inclination to pray to God about these concerns. Other massive disasters have occurred in the world since then. God's anger is not turned away. Presently, the world is nervous about the health of the God of Mammon as financial uncertainties make the world anxious. In a latter chapter in Isaiah, we'll see the implications about the ultimate failure of money. But for those who look for light in the darkness, what marvellous light is there to be found in verses 7 and 8 of today's chapter? For unto us a child is born, and the government shall be on his shoulder. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. To establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of Yahweh of armies will do this. Let us all see the light in the darkness. Let us all realize how much we need that light that only God can provide. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.